Item number SCP-CN-666-J. Note, Dr. Nko, the original author of this document, was forcibly administered a Class A amnestic after completion of this bio, but the influence of SCP-CN-666-J could not be completely removed. Object class, obviously safe. I mean, Keter. Special containment procedures. No special containment procedures needed. It's completely harmless. We should happily accept a change. Update. Due to a large number of SCP-CN-666-J1 and their deep assimilation into human society, complete containment of SCP-CN-666-J is currently not possible. All the Foundation can do is restrict transmission of SCP-CN-666-J as much as possible to prevent the SCP from causing an SK-class end-of-the-world scenario. Any instance of SCP-CN-666-J1 discovered to be suffering from the abnormal symptoms of SCP-CN-666-J must be immediately restrained and contained in a soundproof 10 meter by 10 meter by 10 meter room. And given whatever they want, scratch that, each soundproof room can only contain a maximum of 5 SCP-CN-666-J1 instances. Any human discovered to be affected by SCP-CN-666-J must be immediately isolated and forcibly administered a Class B amnestic, followed by continued psychiatric evaluations at regular intervals for the next year. Direct contact with SCP-CN-666-J1 instances confirmed to be infected with SCP-CN-666-J requires approval by two or more Level 4 staff. Description Amazing! I mean, all cats are potential instances of SCP-CN-666-J1. SCP-CN-666-J designates the sounds, movements, and other effects on human thought made by SCP-CN-666-J1. People affected by SCP-CN-666-J designated SCP-CN-666-J2 will display behavior including, but not limited to, the following. 1. Referring to the affected SCP-CN-666-J1 instances as emperors or kitty masters. 2. Showing a far greater degree of concern for SCP-CN-666-J1 than the average human does for house cats. 3. Personalities gradually tending towards introversion. We just like cats. Uh, scratch that. And a marked increase in the amount of time spent with SCP-CN-666-J1 instances in daily life. Due to the influence of SCP-CN-666-J and the degree and numbers to which SCP-CN-666-J1 has assimilated into human society, Key Masters, I mean, SCP-CN-666-J could possibly cause an SK end of the world scenario, more than 95% of the human population be coming SCP-CN-666-J2 instances. Scientific research almost completely focusing on how to better serve SCP-CN-666-J1 instead of meeting humanity's needs. Cats are the best animals in the world! Uh, scratch that. Incident Log CN-666-J1 Incident CN-666-J1 Location Site CN-21 Time Beep 2015 An instance of SCP-CN-666-J1 Hence both referred to as the object was brought to Site CN-21 by Dr. Unko who is already under the influence of SCP-CN-666-J Object led out a beep cry drawing the attention of beep personnel and causing them to be affected by SCP-CN-666-J None of the present now noticed any of the anomalous effects of the SCP, and it is estimated that B% of the site personnel were affected 
by SCPCN66J and convert it into SCPCN66J2 instances at beep. Why is that cat in such a secret location? Don't say no entry here requires level 3 clearance. Yeah, what's with this mess today? The way those people are looking at that cat feels a bit wrong. Maybe I should suggest a take the cat out of here. Be such a peep walks over to suggest Dr. Unko to leave the premises with the object. Data expunged. We such a peep was sent to the emergency room and all SCPC and 666J2 instances were administered Class B amnestics. SCPC and 66J1 contained. Dr. Unko was isolated and placed on psychiatric treatment for a month. Access restricted to level 4 personnel and above. Please report immediately to Psych Clinic for psychiatric evaluation after reading. Hey, Beep, the meeting hasn't ended yet. I have to go home and feed my cat.